Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Scrap Empire and today we're going to be talking about this upcoming heavyweight co-main event on this UFC fight night this upcoming Saturday. We're going to be featuring Shamil Abrikimov against Chris Dawkins. Now, two heavyweights that both have reputable reputations. Right. Shamil he comes from Europe and you know a lot of the European fighters and another thing too please don't get it confused for my Scrap Empire fans. Please don't get anything confused. Europe is a continent. There's plenty of countries within Europe. Right. But you have a lot of fighters from European countries who are extremely strong, who are extremely poised with their style and extremely heavy handed. All right. Now, Chris Dawkins, let's get started with him, all right? Now, there's plenty of fighters that have a basic style compared to somebody like Chris Dawkins. You know, he's willing to engage in combat. He's willing to engage with you, all right? In terms of just one-on-one -on -one interaction and you know he puts in great effort when he's fighting however there's a fight that goes up to 15 minutes you guys should check it out if you're subscribed to UFC if you have the subscription to UFC fight pass Okay. Now, when you see how Chris Dawkins lost that fight, it was because he wasn't able to control. He he wasn't he wasn't able to take control of the moment. He got submitted, right? He got tapped out. But you have certain fighters like the like like the opponent that he's going to be facing this upcoming Saturday. He's no, even though he lost to Derek Lewis by a knockout or by a tech by a technical knockout as you can see if you were watching the fight he really took a but he, he took a lot of effort and a lot of focus to have you know to, to try to have Derek Lewis on the ground now because Derek Lewis is such a strong guy right because he's such a strong guy, he was able to get up and create a found and create foundation for himself. So he so so he would be able to have to fight go within his range, go within his the, the way how he wants to fight. So yes, Chris Dawkins got submitted but is he gonna is is the same is the, the fashion how he lost in the fight that I just recommended to you guys is that going to happen when he fights Shamil this upcoming Saturday and Shamil isn't really the best puncher right 
he really I, like even watching that fight with Derek Lewis. He really wanted to get him on the ground. He was doing an excellent job of having him on the ground. But what's going to happen if Chris Dawkins is able to hit him with those great shots? What's going to happen if he can do that? All right. I still believe that Shamil is going to win the fight, whether by decision or submission. I don't see him knocking him out. I don't see him knocking out Chris Dawkins. But again, in order to really get an in-depth analysis of what I'm saying, you have to watch the fight. You have to watch, you you have to dissect and really take time to watch the fights, you know, because yes, Shamil isn't the best stand up to get the best guy to stand up, but if he's able to have you on the ground, he's going to be able to do some damage. It's also going to be up to Chris Dawkins to take control of the fight as well. Welcome to the Scrap Empire, everybody like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.